And on this issue of funding, the administration has money to send to Lebanon without Congress coming back. But Congress does have to come back to approve money to send to people in North Carolina. Do I have that right? Here's what I'm going to be very clear about. <laughs> Boy. Here we go. It must be Halloween early at the White House because Joe Biden's senior advisor and White House press secretary, Karen Jean-Pierre, showed up today in what appears to be a comically oversized gay clown mobster costume, which is very fitting given her pathetic responses to blistering questions from Fox News' Peter Ducey about the lack of funds for North Carolina hurricane victims. And on this issue of funding, the administration has money to send to Lebanon without Congress coming back. But Congress does have to come back to approve money to send to people in North Carolina. Do I have that right? Here's what I'm going to be very clear about. The president and the vice president has had a, a robust whole of government uh, response to this. And, but instead, people want to do disinformation, misinformation, which is dangerous which is dangerous because then it, what that, when, when folks on the ground hear that, they may not want to ask for the help that they need. That is there for them. That is there for them. That's our focus here. But President Biden is fond of saying, show me your budget and I will tell you what you value. If he's got money for people in Lebanon right now without Congress having to come back, what does it say about his values? There's not enough money right now for his people values, in North Carolina who his, need it. That's not misinformation. Wait, no, that is wait, your whole your whole premise of the question is misinformation, sir. Excuse what you don't? Me? Yes, yes, Which it's misinformation. Did, is there I money just, to I just mentioned. Right now? I just mentioned. I just mentioned to you that we provided more than two hundred million dollars to folks who are impacted in the area, and I just shared with you that people are deciding I'm not to. Not, uh, people are deciding not to. President not to, wait. Clear to Congress that there's not enough money to help people. We're in North talking Carolina about the SBA by, disaster loan. That's yes. money for people in North but, Carolina. And that's important. And people in North Carolina need that. Cong so, wait, this is nothing new. Right Peter, this is nothing new. Congress comes together. They provide money, millions of dollars, for disaster relief. We're asking them to do the job that they have been doing for some and time. From the letter that President Biden been doing sent for to Johnson, some time. Schumer, and Jeffries. The president's letter is not misinformation. Would you agree? No, the way you're asking me the question is misinformation. What? There is money that we are allocating to the impacted areas, and there is money there to help people who truly need it. There are survivors who need the funding, who need the funding, and it's there. That you don't like misinformation. I said That's that I funny. actually said we have the money available to help uh, survivors of Hurricane Helene and also Hurricane Milton. Uh, we do not have the funds. FEMA does not have the funds to make it through the season. Now, we're now there's going to be a shortfall, right? Because we don't know how bad it's Hurricane Milton is going to be. And so we're going to need additional funding. We're going to need additional funding. That's exactly what I just asked about. A human. <laughs> and you said it was no. misinformation. Yes. What you're asking me is why Congress needs to come back and do their job. That's what you're asking me. Congress needs to come back and do their job and provide an extra assistance, extra funding to disaster relief fund. That's what Congress needs to do, and we're going to continue to urge that. You may not want that, but that's okay. That's what this president wants, and that's what the vice president wants. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> That's exactly the point. Given all the money that's going to Ukraine, Israel, Lebanon, and illegal migrants, you would think we'd have money available for American hurricane victims. Somehow I have a feeling these funds wouldn't be a problem if a majority of these people weren't Republican voters and white. Because I will never forget how the media politicized Katrina against George W. Bush and Republicans. Bill Clinton felt your pain. George Bush flew over it. How is this happening in, in the United States? And the other refrain was, had this been Nantucket, had this been Boston, Cleveland, Chicago, right. Miami, Los Angeles, how many choppers would have been? Plus, did government neglect turn a natural disaster into a human catastrophe? And was it rooted in racism? George Bush doesn't care about black people. Hurricane Katrina is George Bush's 
Monica Lewinsky. There have been some that have suggested that race has been a factor because so many of the people in New Orleans who have been suffering, as you well know, are African American. Well, caucus. But do you believe the if, if it was in fact a slow response, as as many now believe it was, was was in part the result of racism? Is that what you're suggesting? I'm not sure. That is completely different. Which of course is a completely one way street and totally different when they do it. And of course they're all out there saying that any claims that FEMA or the government doesn't have enough money for these victims or that this money has gone to illegal migrants is misinformation and disinformation, which I think we all know at this point is just a deflection they're able to easily use for anything that is inconvenient to them or damaging to the Democrat Party. Republicans are claiming that money set aside by Congress for disaster relief is instead going to migrants. But the White House and FEMA saying that is just not true. I mean, it's just categorically false. It is not true. It is a false statement. FEMA says that money that was appropriated for uh, Helene victims, they are not getting because instead that money is going to migrants. FEMA says that is not happening. What's the White House pushing back against those allegations, releasing a statement that says this, quote, this is false. The disaster relief fund is specifically appropriated by Congress to- FEMA spent all the hurricane relief money on immigrants. It's a lie. It's on Donald Trump supporters to not just swallow his lies whole. I'm to put falsehoods aside, like the idea that FEMA funds are being redirected to migrants, which is just yeah. not true. Well, Funding is also available through FEMA's emergency food and shelter program uh, to support humanitarian relief for migrants. Also announced a competitive process for the second tranche of funds under the shelter and services program. We are very focused on getting the dollars out the door as quickly as possible. So now the White House says that for those cities that they know are receiving an influx of migrants, there is somebody from FEMA, uh, that federal emergency uh, management agency, ready and willing to really help those cities when it comes to management of these influx of migrants, including reimbursing some of those cities. That the federal government is sending money to cities and states caring for migrants, $1.1 million, $30 million, $8.6 million, $128 million. Good God! All right, folks, that's all I have for that one thanks for watching if you enjoyed please hit that like button share and subscribe i do post on a regular basis so keep checking back for more thanks a lot